Terry Labonte, fifth, best starting spot of the year. Jeff Burton, one last July here in the Cup lap at New Hampshire National or in New England. Up. Around goes the zero car of Jeff Burton. Ken Schrader with him, and he couldn't save it. Ernie Irvin got into it. And Burton goes up to the wall. A tough debut for the Phil Martazzi team in Winston Cup racing. And Jeff Burton, one of the best flat track drivers in the Bush Grand National Series, ends up in the fence. Jaws was really tough about that. He lost it around the four car combine. Looks like a tangle with the four. They're coming back to the start finish line. Mike Burton is back in the race. He's back up to speed. He's off the wall and coming around now. Chevrolet Corvette pace car will pick him up down in turn Ern one. Ernie Irvin has some front end damage on his car when he come by and noticed a lot of smoke off the right front corner of his car. We'll be running our TNN 800 number throughout this telecast. You can call in toll free with your questions about this event. The call is free. 800-451-7331 all throughout today's telecast. We're under caution. We'll be right back. Welcome back to New Hampshire International. You're watching Ernie Irvin's crew. They had a lot of repairs to make from damage from this incident. Jeff Burt, you see his back out, damage to the left front and rear. Let's show you what happened. Back at fourth spot. Well, you see Schrader, he tried to avoid him. He got all the way under the yellow line, but Burton come down. They made a little bit of contact, and there's a lot of cars that were damaged in this thing. 21 cars got some dump. You can see them right here. They jammed up in the center part there. Yeah, they got together going down in turn one. As this came around, I said the four car takes a pretty good lick right here from Burton. The 21 car has a lot of damage to the nose area of it. The four car took the, looked like the hardest lick on the side. Here's Jeff Gordon in car waving his hand going down in the corner. Here they are right behind them. There's where they touch. Now a bit of damage to the right front of Schrader's car where the contact was initiated. It was the right front of Schrader into the left rear of Jeff Burton. Yeah, they were doing the... Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be some work. It's going to be a long race. Change the right side once, and you're getting knocked in the left rear. You might make it a little extra dicey. Up front, Brad Kozlowski, the race leader. Kevin Harvick has moved to second. McMurray back to third. Then Jeff Burton up to fourth, selling for Tony Stewart in that 14 car. And Joey Logano now racing Jimmy Johnson for fifth place. Burton wheeled that thing tonight, didn't he? Oh, doing a great job. Jeff's always enjoyed racing here, but... Probably taking most of the weekend to get used to the car here and the different line and everything that he's been used to running here. Making Tony proud and send our best to Tony while we're talking about him. A lot of signs in the grandstands on lap 14 tonight, I was told to expect uh, in support of Tony Stewart. And, uh, no word as yet as to when Tony Stewart might return to the race car. Uh, of course, uh, out now a third straight week after that uh, terrible tragedy in upstate New York a few weeks ago where a young driver, Kevin Ward Jr., lost his life. So Jeff Burton doing a fine job in the Smokes car tonight in fourth place. Watching this knot here, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, 14, 48, 22, fourth, fifth, and sixth. The race later is encountering some lap traffic that's giving him a fit right now. Brad Keselowski taking the lead from Jamie McMurray on the exchange of pit stops under that last caution. And there they are, those lap cars that they've caught. Kevin Harvick joining in the mix.